all superchanger gaskets are purchased as one-piece molded items. To physically accomplish mixing gaskets on a plate, the portholes are cut from both gaskets. Subsequently, the portholes of one material are matched with the perimeter of the other material. Most superchanger units are equipped with gaskets made of one material. However, there are two conditions that dictate the use of different materials on a plate. The first is gasket fluid compatibility. In this case, one material is not suited for both fluids in the heat exchanger. An example is heating quench oil with 285 degree Fahrenheit steam. Quench oil dictates the use of nitrile rubber gaskets, while steam temperature requires EPDM gaskets. The second reason for using two gasket materials on a single plate is cost. This is encountered when an expensive material such as Viton is required on only one side of the superchanger unit. A significant savings can be realized by using a less expensive gasket material on the other side. As an example, cooling 180 degree Fahrenheit sulfuric acid with tower water requires Viton on the acid side, but nitrile is sufficient on the water side. Each plate has contact with both fluids in a superchanger unit. One fluid travels across the plate, while the other fluid passes through the gasketed portholes. In a mixed unit, each plate will have two materials. For example, the fluid traveling across the A plate requires EPDM perimeter gaskets. The fluid on the B plate requires NBR perimeter gaskets. The A plate will have EPDM on the perimeter, while the left portholes are NBR. The B plate will have NBR on the perimeter with right portholes of EPDM. After proper curing of the gaskets, the plates must be installed exactly as shown on the element composition diagram. Note that the gasket assembly is different on the D plates. This is always the plate next to the stationary end frame. The D plate gasketing does not allow flow on the plate since there are gaskets around all four portholes. The purpose of the D plate is to prevent any fluid from flowing across the painted steel stationary end frame. You will note immediately that there is a distinct difference between the D plate and a standard plate in the S series units. The D plate has porthole gaskets around each porthole, and it also has additional bearing surface strips on the plate. The quarter moon support is required since the D-plate seals against the stationary in-frame instead of another plate. Note that there are two narrow porthole gaskets and two wide porthole gaskets. The wide porthole gasket fits the wide groove, and the narrow gasket fits the narrow groove. Since the fluid does not flow on the D-plate, the perimeter gaskets are not required to seal. Therefore, the perimeter gaskets consist of strips which are glued into the gasket groove to provide a support or bearing surface for proper support of the plate. The D-plate for UX series plates is different from the rest of the plates in the unit, in that all four portholes are gasketed. The D-plate gasket assembly is made from two standard plate gaskets, cut as shown, and installed so the gaskets fill all gasket grooves. A reminder, make sure the proper sides of the gaskets are up when installing them on the plate. Remember that since there is no flow on the D-plate, the perimeter gasket is not required to seal. The perimeter gasket is required as a support and a bearing service to ensure proper sealing of the plate pack. GX and GF plate gaskets lie in the neutral axis rather than in tapered grooves. Because of this, both the D and E plates contain half thickness gaskets, called half gaskets. The D plate, which rests against the stationary frame, contains a half gasket on the front or stationary frame side in order to keep the plate from resting on the frame. All four portholes contain the half gasket in order to prevent fluid from flowing across the frame itself. The E-plate is similar in that it also has a half gasket on the front side, as shown. Unless the unit contains nozzles on the movable frame, all four movable frame side portholes on the E-plate will contain the half gaskets.